In this video, we'll be looking at higher purchase. Make sure that you first looked at the video on simple interest before you go on to higher purchase. That will put things in a bit more perspective. So what exactly is higher purchase? Well, you might know that the word higher means rent and purchase means buy. Okay, these two words are going to help us to understand what higher purchase means. When you want to purchase or buy something that's really expensive and you don't have all the money to put down to buy that item, you can rent it um, for a little while until you've completely paid it off over a period of time. So the higher means that you are going to pay installments every month, almost like someone pays rent for their house every month. Um, but unlike a house, eventually it will be your own. If this seems very abstract to you, let's consider a very easy example of this. Let's consider this little story. Uh, you have just started your first job and you are renting a small little apartment, but now you need furniture. So you go to the shops and you see this beautiful, beautiful couch, but you don't have any money to put down to buy this couch. And what you do have is two a little to actually buy it so what the shop owner suggests is that you put a little bit of money in and you can now take the couch home and every month when you get your salary you will hand it over a little portion over to him to pay off the couch so uh, you put the couch on a truck and together you take this to your home so now you have a couch to sit on uh, while you're going to pay off this couch over the period of time. So let's go back home. The shop owner has a little bit of money that you do that you did have, which is called your deposit. So now every month when you get your salary from your employer, you're going to pay over a little bit to the shop owner until you have paid off the, the couch in full. And this happens for the set period of time which you and the shop owner have decided on. Uh, here's an advertisement of a couch. It's called the Scandina Scandinavian Design 3 seater Sofa. It tells us that it's blue and it gives us a price. ZAR is just another way of saying South African Rand. And now here comes the part that's higher purchase. They say that we can buy it on terms, which is the same as saying buying it on higher purchase or taking it home and paying it off. All of that means the same thing. The money that you have to put down in order to take it home is 10% of that purchase price. And then they're going to charge you interest. And that's, this is why it's so important to first look at the interest video before you look at this. Because you can't just pay off the remainder of the money. The shop owner wants to make some kind of extra money out of you for being so kind to let you pay it off over. And in this case, it's going to be over two years because 24 months is two years. Um, it's quite a lot of information, but let's break it down and see what we can do. So first of all, let's try and work out what the deposit is. So 10% is 10 over 100. You can also say 0 0,1. And it's 10% of the purchase price, which is 10,999. And I hope you can work this out without a calculator. So this is... 1,099 Rand and 90 cents. Okay, so now if that is your deposit, now how much do you still owe, owe the shop owner? So what you still owe, we call the loan amount because this is the amount that you need to loan. Um, or you can also think of it the amount that you have to pay off over the certain period of time without the interest that is. So to work that out, we're going to take the price of the couch and we're going to take away the deposit that you've already paid because what is left over is what you still have to pay. And this gives us amount of 9,899 Rand and 10 cents. Now let's consider the information that was given to us again. 25% interest. 
So interest means, and in this case, it's bad interest because the shop owner is going to charge you more than just 9,899 rand and 10 cents because he wants to make additional money because it takes him two years to get all his money out of you. So this 25% is calculated on the loan amount. At this stage, I also want to say that you need to make sure that you understand the difference between the deposit percentage and the interest percentage. Don't get them mixed up. The deposit percentage is the percentage that you put down in order to take the item home, while the interest percentage is that extra percentage that they work out in the loan amount, um, which is your bad interest. So let's now actually go and work that out. So our next step is to work out what this additional amount or this interest is that you're going to pay. And that is 25% of the loan amount. And you don't only pay it for one year, you pay it for two years. Okay, I know that I have to convert this into years because the interest is per annum. Did you see that? Per annum. So therefore, I have to say not 24 months, but two years. So I'm going to multiply by two years. This gives me an amount of 4,949 Rand and 55 cents. Stop here for a moment. You need to pay not only 9,899 Rand and 10 cents, but also an additional 4,949 Rand and 55 cents because this is your interest that is added on because of that leniency to pay it off over two years. So if we add these two amounts together, this is what you are going to pay in total for the remainder of the two years after you've paid the deposit. So this is 14,848 Rand and 65 cents. This is quite a lot. Luckily, you don't have to pay this off in one go. They allow you to make monthly payments. So what I can do now in order to figure out what you pay per month, I just divide it into 24 equal little payments. And that's going to show me what I pay per month. And often this monthly amount is advertised to make it seem so affordable to you because it's only 618 Rand and 69 cents per month. But in fact, you're paying so much more because you are charged such a big amount in interest. So let's consider all the steps that we went through. Firstly, we calculated what the deposit was. Secondly, we determined the loan amount. On the loan amount, we calculate the interest that is added onto your payment. Fourthly, we did the total repayment which is the total amount, amount without the deposit that you pay over the set period of time. And lastly, we divide it into the equal monthly payments to get your monthly repayments. Not to worry, we're going to recap this some more. Let's go through these steps one more time. Firstly, we are given a purchase price of an item. We calculate the deposit that we need to pay in order to take the item home and that will give us the loan amount. The loan amount is used to calculate the simple interest that is charged on top of that loan amount. So once we have the interest amount, we add it onto that original loan amount and that gives us the total repayment. Once we have the total repayment, we divide it by the number of months to see what the monthly repayment is. Let's use this structure with the example that we just completed. Let's consider all the information again. We are given the purchase price. That's what we start off with. We work out what the deposit is that we need to put down in order to take the item home. So that, in this case, it's 10% of 10,999. If we subtract these two from each other, then we get the loan amount, the amount that I still need to pay before interest is added and after the deposit was paid. 
it is on this amount that the simple interest is calculated, which in this case was 25% over two years. I know that I must convert 24 months to two years because the interest is per annum. So 24 months is two years. When I work out this simple, simple interest calculation, I got an amount of 4,949 Rand and 55 cents. This is only the interest, which is added on to the loan amount to give me the total repayment that I have to pay over the two-year period. Luckily, I can pay this in small monthly installments, which in this case is 24 months. So divided by 24 months gives me an amount of 618 Rand and 69 cents, which I pay per month. And this is how we do higher purchase forwards. In grade 11 and grade 12, we also unfortunately have to do this process backwards.